Grand Rising, my friends. Welcome back. For those who are new, hola. We're going to do something new every day. Try something. Have some fun with it. Ah, I know everyone's having a great day. We could look here. Bitcoin, it's not so much. Bounced off of 50K. Cardano bounced off of three. Doge was up. Oh, wow. It was down 8%. Polka died out 8%. So that's okay. So everything that got hit hard went down about 8%. We got Chainlink, Polygon, Avalanche. Seems to be doing well. Internet computer went down. Stellar six. Everyone else here around six six. EOS at eight. Yeah. So Tezos at six. All right. So the market just had a little bit of a pullback. I guess you know the week is still early. Stocks have been having a nice a run past couple of days. The house just passed their 3.5 infrastructure. I'm sure it's got to be some reconciliation with the Senate. Don't know if they changed too much of the language, especially if it, as it pertains to cryptos, but it is going to be $3.5 trillion that's going to be printed for the U.S. economy. And we'll see how that will affect cryptocurrencies and inflation as we move forward. You know, we're about that positivity here on this channel. And that positivity is if there's someone you love, but my respect why don't you write something nice about them? Go down there in that comment section, tell them how much you care and what you think about them, and then forward them this video and say, hey, go down there and look. See, I wrote something nice about you on the internet. We're playing it for it. Give them a boost in their day. With that, moving on, Elon Musk had tweeted, because that's how he lets us know, the techno king, that SpaceX has shipped over. 100,000 Starlink terminals. Let's get into what Starlink is for those who may not know. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Starlink is an initiative of SpaceX, which is Elon Musk's space corporation, space exploration, SpaceX, to create a network of, ten of, of tens of thousands, right, 42,000, I think. Right now, I think they have probably... Over a thousand between one and two thousand, if I'm not mistaken, to create a network of tens of thousands of satellites known in the space industry as a constellation to deliver high speed Internet to consumers anywhere on Earth. SpaceX rolled out its Starlink beta Internet service at the end of 2020 with a program that allows some customers to try it for ninety nine a month, not including upfront costs for shipping, taxes, installation, equipment like roof mounts to hold the terminals in place. A Starlink kit includes a satellite antenna dish, a stand, a power supply and a Wi-Fi router. More recently, SpaceX has indicated plans to expand the service to work for in-flight Internet on moving ships and trucks. And also the United States military department of defense is planning on using Starlink. So the globe, imagine the globe and most of the satellites that we have are, you know, 50, <clears throat> you know, 50,000 kilometers, I, number, whatever the number. So globe, most of the satellites are way, you know, in this ball flying around up here. So we got geosynchronous, which means they, have a point that they are uh, with on Earth, and as the Earth rotate, they rotate too. But, you know, and those are well far out, the geosynchronous ones, to be at the Lagrange point, which is where gravity and it, it, we'll come to that at some point. But anyway, Starlink is instead of, you know, all these satellites out here, Starlink and other companies as well are trying to create it closer. And so it takes a lot more fuel and, uh, Control so they're going to be autonomous to keep themselves in the proper position because they're closer to the earth low earth orbit satellites as you know as opposed to up here and that increases the ability of latency latency is how fast the signal gets there and back down and so by being closer it you know it mechanically is is faster to uh, connect information between the earth and those satellites and so the United States military is also looking into um how to capitalize on the use of the starlight constellation systems. The internet is really weird. You know, we only use like 
less than half of the bandwidth because the middle United States military and government controls the most and says, nah, we're not using these wavelengths. That's a story for another time. Anyway, SpaceX president and COO Gwen Shotwell announced in February 2020 that the company will likely spin off its Starlink satellite business and may have an IPO for the unit in the coming years. That, and remember, this is never... Don't even listen to the advice I'm giving you now about how this is not advice about advice on investments, healthcare, wellness, understanding, consciousness. It's never advice. But, no, it ain't no button. It's never advice. Starlink, when it goes public. Oh, my. That I've been telling people like, hey, oh yeah, I mean SpaceX. When SpaceX is a public company, I mean sorry, it's a private company. When it goes public, throw whatever you have at <laughs> in terms of of capital. Like now, there are you can invest if with you know having a sufficient amount of capital, you can invest in Starlink now as a private in a private company. But you know most individuals don't have those means. Once you get to a certain threshold of cash, you can, you know, there's way you, we understand that these systems of people who make a bunch of money, continuing to make even more money um, is locked out to most of us. So once it becomes public, that's, the, that's another easy way. There's other ways to invest in funds that are, investing in with private money into Starlink now, but that takes less than it takes to invest by yourself as an individual. Um, so, but there are options. And so, you know, do your research. We'll discuss that. Maybe, you know, here we do go through a lot of different funds that are, that exist out here. We'll do a video about, you know, what ETFs to buy or think about that may be important for you. Um, and, and in funds that like, you know, for example, the the, the Barron fund that it, that invests in Starlink that takes, I believe, like a five thousand dollar minimum. But if you once you invest that, you have a a piece of their stake in Starlink now as a private company. Sorry, uh, SpaceX as a private company. But when Starlink goes, or if Starlink goes, or SpaceX, that would be very. I would think that would be very wise to invest. In those companies so awesome uh starlink is, is continuing to move on and is going to help fund the, the mission to mars one day how crypto is becoming more applicable in the real world and this goes through companies that are using bitcoin microsoft is accepting bitcoin for certain transactions at&t Allows for online bills to be paid with, with uh, crypto via BitPay. The Dolphins accepted Virgin Galactic. If you want to go ahead and, and fly to possibly almost close to space or space, you know, depends how much you want to fight against individuals about it. You know, for a bunch of money, don't, don't, don't spend your crypto on this. Don't, please. I mean, look, if you want to go there, hey, spend, spend fiat. Transfer that as fiat, but that crypto... Usually, I would say, don't spend your crypto on anything. Not right now. Imagine, okay, you, and we'll, we'll it's a story we're going to talk about in, a, in a, a couple of days, maybe tomorrow, I believe, where you have to be careful about cash versus the cash equivalent now versus the actual coins themselves. Like Tesla, when they were accepting Bitcoin, they were not stupid at all. Very intelligent individuals. So they said, look, if you, Buy a car from us. I'm just going to use round numbers to make it easy now. If you buy a car from us for two Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin goes up and now that two Bitcoin is worth, you know, one Bitcoin is, is worth those two. So, for example, you, you know, you bought a car for, let's say, 50000 That was two Bitcoin, 25000 a piece. Now, Bitcoin is worth... 50,000. So one Bitcoin is worth that 50,000 for that car. We'll give you back. And you want you want Bitcoin back? We give you back one Bitcoin. <laughs> we give you back the cash equivalent in Bitcoin to whatever it was you spent at the time. 
But if the price goes down, so you know you bought that fifty thousand dollar car with two Bitcoin, twenty five a piece, and it goes down to twenty five thousand, um, or Bitcoin drops down to twelve point five, and you want your money back, then we'll give you fifty thousand in cash. <laughs> And keep our Bitcoin. So now, it because we, we, otherwise we had to give you four Bitcoin back. You know, you paid two, and now it went it, it went down by half. These are just round numbers to help your mind understand it. Uh, and so we'll give you back. You know, you you get back four Bitcoin now if you sell your car back, or you got to return your car, or whatever the transaction in that time. And it, you know, it's legal. But if that happens, no, we give you cash. We give you fifty thousand in cash for it. But if the price went up, we'll give you, and you want it back, we'll give you one Bitcoin. Instead of giving you 100,000, we'll give you one Bitcoin. Because <laughs> you gave us two. Oh, man, you got to love it. Norwegian Air, Wikipedia, 4chan Express. So a lot of companies, Amazon, not, you know, kind of indirectly, but a lot of companies are accepting cryptocurrencies and it's becoming far more applicable. Such as PayPal is now allowing UK users to buy and sell cryptocurrencies for the first time. The firm said its new service would allow customers to choose from four types of cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash and will be available both via the PayPal app and the website. They're going to have a tab that gives currency prices as well as offering educational content. Payment giant said it hoped the move to embrace the currency would help improve knowledge and understanding of it. The pandemic has accelerated digital change and innovation across all aspects of our lives, including the digitization of money and greater consumer adoption of digital financial services. So, PayPal UK. Oh, oh, look here. They already we got it popping here already in the United States, but now. Going to kind of just swipe across the globe. Hollywood goes crypto. The Coppola family, which has a lot of directors in it, Francis Ford, Sophia, Gia, a lot of filmmakers. Um, but now there's a new nonprofit organization, Decentralized Pictures, co-founded by Roman Coppola, Leo Matchett, and Michael Masatic. Hey, Butcher, I apologize for all the butchering names. I mean, look, you know. This is a pretty good idea. What they're going to do is basically you, using the blockchain, allow filmmakers to put their works up and ideas and have a democratically elected sense of where the funding for the money goes for these independent filmmakers. And you're going to have to do KYC. No, so everybody knows who's who's. It's all on up and up. Nobody's behind the scene trying to manipulate it. Their goal is to try to have a transparent and audible process to grant funds to filmmakers so that it basically becomes crowd true crowdfunding with no central management hopefully i mean you know the peers is what they're trying to do which will be awesome this is how this is a use case for cryptocurrencies people are like well, what's the use of it use it's going to completely change how we function as a society with in 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 a transactional sense in terms of because we're about to move to you know tesla bots let's go with that tesla bus autonomous cars imagine the future where you are able to grease the wheels for these transactions to use these services use these autonomous vehicles to your bot to go out and and, and be able to go to the grocery store as they say or um pick up dry cleaning it, it, you, it's gonna have a wallet. We'll put clothes on the Tesla bots or whatever. It, it, look, we got it. That, that the, the branding already, because <laughs> everybody gonna be like, oh, I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about that Hyundai bot. I don't, I don't. Know. But, hey. but as I was telling, you, 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 let me give you a bit of an aside. I'm just trying to not keep you on too long to dab and sitting here blabbering my big mouth too much, but. It, Five eight, 125 pounds, move five miles an hour, can deadlift 150 pounds, um, can lift 
at arm's length, ten pounds, you can hold. You can hold most battle rifles, assault rifles. You can hold. You can hold most assault rifles and be moving. You can trudge along and be laying down fire. <laughs> uh, you can trudge along and lay down a lot of fire, holding an assault rifle and blasting away as a bot, you know. But that's a dark thought. Let's move. We, we, we're not going to have that. We're going to put in Isaac Asimov's rules of robotics and keep everything harmonious because that is our plan. But we have to be careful. We can't be silly. Digital assets to replace fiat in 10 years. And that's the whole point of all of this. The change is going to be in the next article says it's seismic. But anyway, the change is going to be dramatic of how cryptos are going to. Now, look, I don't know any of this. This is just seeing, you know, kind of the pieces falling into place over years, paying attention, history doesn't repeat itself but it also often rhymes and once you understand that and learn a song you can see that that where 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 the next notes are coming <laughs> you can guess where the where the hook coming in at so anyway digital assets to replace fiat in 10 years deloitte which is a one of the big four accounting firms uh, this firm is in the UK revealed this is their belief from a survey that in the next five to 10 years, digital assets are expected to replace fiat currencies. 76% of respondents of the survey made this prediction. The, and they surveyed over a thousand bank leaders and executives of financial institutions based in the UK, United States, China, Hong Kong, Germany, Brazil, Japan, Singapore, South Africa, and the UAE. The survey was to determine, and this was like the first time Deloitte, Deloitte is a huge accountant, uh, one of the big, you know, independent auditors that, and they, this was the first time they, you know, had a big survey about cryptocurrencies with these individuals they've been dealing with for you know, decades. 80% of the respondents answered that digital assets will play an important role in the financial industry in the next two years. 73% of the executives believe that blockchain adoption is essential if the organizations want to compete in a future industry. 43% of the respondents opine that their institution should adopt cryptocurrencies as a payment option. So and this is, you know, the bank leaders believe the bank leaders believe now digital asset has been a liberation to countries in the world. El Salvador has made history, becoming the first country globally to make Bitcoin its official fiat currency with Argentina looking to follow in that line. 2021 has been a big year, but it's going to almost seem minuscule of where we're going to be from now. Remember, I believe it was yesterday, day before we were talking about how they think the DeFi market may 10x in the next year. What sector do we know in equities market, stock market that we think is going to 10x? I mean, hey, look, robotics now, autonomous. I don't know if in the next year or not, but those are things that be looking for. Um, genetic engineering, you know, we talked about Moderna is now using the messenger MRA to see if they can make an HIV vaccine. The A, a lot of what we thought was untreatable or things that we just managed, we may be looking to cure. And, and there's no physician that don't want to cure everything. I know people are like, oh, they just want, the, they just wanted to get paid for the treatment. Unless you're a sociopath. <laughs> and most are not, you know, there gotta be some, you know, statistically. The vast majority are not of physicians. We'd be happy if people never got sick again. You know, we'll find something else to do. Bankers issue seismic warning. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and this is Forbes. Binance coin, Cardano, and XRP could replace the dollar in just five years as crypto market price adds one trillion. Now, this is just kind of Forbes talking about the survey um, from Deloitte, but it's a lot of fear. You know, some companies have gotten ahead, gotten advanced. You see, I don't know if I, we 
talked about it. I think I mentioned it, BlackRock, how much of uh, they bought into the, they own already, I want to say, a micro strategy and how much they bought into the Bitcoin mining. And BlackRock is one of the largest asset managers in the world. It's still early. Even amidst of all of this, you see this. You see all these things occurring. It's still early. So if you've been on the fence, if you're not already saying, planning out the next several years, you know, if you got to tighten the belt, stop, you know, uh, whatever it may be, looking into your finances and say, am I investing enough now that I set myself and my family up and be able to diversify? You know, not just cryptocurrencies, not just real estate, not just equities, not just your own business. You know, you, you, you have to be smart and say, I have to have kind of different pies going. If, if anything, just for your own sanity, because if everything is depending on one thing, you know, doing the ups and downs, that's a lot to put on your 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 faith. But the faith is your main thing. You got to believe in it. So I would say never if you have your own business 100 percent, that's where a lot of your focus need to be. But part of it, you have to think about these other things. You have to, you know, why not have a Roth IRA or a regular IRA? Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, a 401 or should not make a 401, but a regular IRA. If you make too much to have a Roth, you got to invest in the future. So not going to keep you all much longer to market. Today, not happy times, but it will be. It's ups and downs. It's volatility. We talked about that in the market. It's a lot of volatility. That's what made crypto crypto. And if there's some stocks, maybe we'll start looking at different um, stocks or at some point once we put together a list that we all like in terms of ETFs or individuals. Keep, keep track of them, too. No biggie. With that said, I love you. You love yourself. God loves us. And that's all that matters.